Welcome to A Guide to Every Deck in Modern. Today we're looking at Hardened Scales. Hardened Scales is an aggro combo deck that looks to win quickly by loading up creatures with plus one counters using Scales, Arcbound Ravager, and or the Ozolith. It forms one third of Modern's complexity triad comprised of itself, Amulet Titan, and Lantern. Hardened Scales and the Ozolith are the deck's enablers, making your creatures exponentially more powerful and any hand containing either one is substantially better than a hand without. Conversely, the creatures are mostly terrible for their cost without Scales or Ozolith. The best creatures for loading counters onto are Ink Moth Nexus or Walking Ballista, though you can potentially win with any creature of sufficient size. Other big creatures include Saga Tokens and Patchwork Automaton or Ingenious Smith. Scales and Ozolith add additional counters onto every creature you play and continue to add more counters from Modular Triggers, Ravager Sacrificing Artifacts, Creatures Dying While Ozolith is in play, and so on. The deck is one of the most complicated decks to pilot, is extremely math intensive, and is capable of generating wins out of sparse board states. You have to be aware of the exact math you need to win both now and multiple turns down the line. Here's an example. Take the following board state and figure out how to win immediately. You control 4 mana worth of lands, an arcbound ravager with 1 counter on it, the ozolith with no counters, a walking ballista with 1 counter, and a hangerback walker that you haven't cast yet. How do you deal at least 20 damage from this position? Take a moment to think about it. First, cast Hangerback Walker for X equals 2. Sacrifice Walker to Ravager, adding a counter to Ravager, two counters to Ozolith, and creating two Thopters. Sacrifice the Thopters to Ravager, adding two more counters to it. Ravager now has four counters. Sacrifice Ravager to itself, adding four counters to both Ballista and Ozolith. Go to combat, moving all six counters from Ozolith onto Ballista and attack for 11. After combat damage, you can activate Ballista for an additional 11 damage. The deck has all sorts of complicated lines to generate lethal damage involving Ballista, Hangerback Walker, Ravager, Ozolith Scales, Ink Moth Nexus, Saga generating tokens and fetching artifacts, Modular Triggers, and so on. Hardened Scales is base green for Stirrings and Scales, but also splashes white and red for Zabaz's abilities and potentially Ingenious Smith. However, it isn't married to any color besides green and should adapt if new shells are found to be more optimal. General mulligan guidelines are to keep most hands with hardened scales or a combination of the Ozolith, Ravager, Ink Moth, or Walking Ballista. At the start of the game, math out how long it will take to piece a win together based on the cards in your opening hand. Sideboarding and how to beat it. Most of the cards are core to scale synergies, but there are less valuable ones such as Arcbound Worker, additional copies of Zabaz, Welding Jar, etc. The sideboard is mostly answers to hate cards or to be used against other linear decks. Given its makeup, Hardened Scales is susceptible to all forms of artifact hate, Chalice of the Void, Blood Moon since it kills Saga and turns off Ink Moth Nexus, Pithing Needle effects, and Graveyard Replacement hate like Rest in Peace since it neutralizes modular triggers. Tips and Tricks there are a ton of complex interactions and niche use cases in this deck, so to go over a reasonable amount of them. The Ozolith gets counters from creatures leaving, not just dying, and gets them even if those counters are going elsewhere, for example, from modular triggers. This is a way to double up on moving counters around. Zabaz's trigger upon dying doesn't count its own modular increasing ability since it's dead by the time the trigger resolves, unless it's dying to the legend rule from a second Zabaz. If you don't control Ravager, Zabaz's self-destruct ability can be useful for triggering other artifacts such as Hangerback Walker. Zabaz can sometimes be the winning creature itself by moving a lethal amount of counters onto it and flying over for the win. You can target a 1-1 Ballista with Pendlehaven, remove the last counter from it, and then sacrifice it to Ravager. Like Yawgmoth's proliferate ability, Animation Module and Throne of Geth can mess with all sorts of permanents including Chalice of the Void, Aether Vial, EE, Blast Zone, and so on. If you have enough mana, Animation Module can do its best imitation of Hangerback Walker by spitting out servos. The plus one plus one counters on Ink Moth Nexus remain even when it stops being a creature, allowing you to win over multiple attacks if you can't get it up to 10 power in one go. Llanowar Reborn, Power Depot, and Animation Module can target an opponent's Phantasmal Image to kill it. The various plus one plus one counter increasing effects in the deck apply only to creatures and thus won't bolster lands like Llanowar Reborn. The stats of Saga tokens directly compete with Ravager sacrificing artifacts, so you need to decide whether you're going for beatdown over multiple turns or one big attack. Opponents can respond to your shenanigans by throwing direct damage at Ballista. Even if it's not enough to kill Ballista, you may need to activate it before the damage gets marked on it since otherwise it'll die before you can activate it further once its toughness reaches the amount of damage. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Hardened Scales.
I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time.